As I now welcome Benjamin Zulu onto the show. Karibu sana. Asante. Good to have you here <laughs> as <laughs> always. Thank you. Um, my previous guest was very, very interesting. Someone here saying, uh, hey Joyce, it's Alice from Naivasha. I would request you to invite the chef to take us through the journey of postpartum depression and how she was able to overcome it. Asante sana for that. Now, Benjamin, as soon as I talked, mentioned that we will be talking about the man and the hunt questions yeah. already started coming in because wow. this tends to be a very sensitive um, area mm -hmm. for a lot of us, right? To me, I'm like, "This is on Valentine's." So, nisisi kwenda kufuata ama tu And in fact, one of the questions then that did come in was, you know, someone here saying. If you have a man who is a friend, the two of you have amazing chemistry, mm -hmm. you enjoy each other's company, but the guy is not ready to be in a relationship with you. What would she make of this scenario? Should she wait for him to be ready? Two the things. man and the hunt. <laughs> two components that make a relationship is both of us being available, both of us having a connection, and bo both of us being ready. So if the man is not ready, the third component is missing. Yeah. We like each other, we have chemistry, we are, none of us is in another relationship, so we are available. But if you're not ready, let's remind people that relationship, to be ready for love means you have walked the journey of your own personal development. Right. You have walked the journey of knowing what your life is all about, and now you're ready to merge with another soul. Yeah. Relationships are deep. Yeah. About the man and the hunt, the principle is, it's the man to hunt. It's the man to look. But it's the duty of the lady to be visible. Okay. The man is searching. You be searchable. Uh-huh. Today, a lot of searching Kitambo used to be one-on-one, -on -one, physical. Today, we are using both one-on-one -on -one and online, virtual searching. Mm -hmm. We are shopping online. We are ordering things on Jumia and online shops and all that. So the same way we have incorporated online. Make sure so you are available online mm -hmm. through social media, through whichever way. The, con the point of contact, you have expanded your visibility. So the, the, the thing here is, is the, woman, is, is the man to search, but the woman who wants to be sought must be visible. I want to go back to something that you said that... Yeah. Which is which would beg the question then? Why is it that it is the man to hunt? There's something you mentioned this, that uh, yeah. men are. Is it that is that a natural like an innate thing that men are the ones to do so? It's a human nature. Uh, it's a human nature that the man wants to pursue. He has a hunter instinct, and it's a human nature for a woman to want to be pursued, to be cherished. Mm. So by nature we are arranged that way. Mm -hmm. Is the man searching, the woman being sought? After he finds her, it's him to cherish her, to love her, and for her it's to flow along. The man is a projector, the woman is a screen. She receives what you send. <laughs> she, she portrays it back to you. Yeah. And, and, and you don't want a situation where as a woman you initiated things and now you are the leader. Well, let me ask you about that because this is the 21st century. It's 2020. Women are very empowered nowadays. You know, they're making their money, sometimes more than the men. Um, very strong, independent. We've even had songs about how independent we are. That's right. <laughs> so what would, what would you say then to the ones who are like, a woman can do whatever she wants. And if she wants to be the one to, you know, be forward in a relationship. Your money, your education, your power will only make you a woman. More of a woman. Never a man. Please don't confuse this. Never mutilate your femininity. You'll only be happy when you remain in your, in your position. If you, have, if you have a man and you happen to surpass him financially, surpass him in other ways, never let him see that you are being emasculated. You are now the man or the leader in the relationship. Mm -hmm. You'll also suffer for the twisted roles because you'll have nobody now to cherish you. You'll have wow. nobody now to uphold you there, to meet your emotional needs. Joyce, let's tell women, money can never meet emotional needs. Yeah. Money can never make you feel special. Absolutely. Loved. Some ladies studied PhD and they wrote an article that uh, I thought was very, she asked, is this PhD a blessing or a curse? Because you can study to the top, then you realize at the top does, still, does not still replace the place of love, mm -hmm. simplicity, friendship. They said about this later basketball player, Kobe Bryant, that in his, in his last days he was simply a dad and a friend. Yeah. Although he was a billionaire, flying with shoppers and all that, remember your place to be a friend and a wife a lover. Never let that be confused by the fact that you are now a CEO. Mm. You're not driving that car. Mm. You're not calling the shots. You have money. And those women who, who climb higher and they're the CEO kwa kazi. Akumbukevi, to switch from CEO to friend and the wife at home. Yeah. From being the one to be called, yes madam, 
to being the submissive way at home. When you say submissive, we don't mean powerless. Yeah, yeah. Submission is a position of strength. I want us yeah. to discuss it another day. Yeah, yeah. You can influence things strongly as a woman Absolutely. from the place of, and, and, and I always love our first first lady of this country, Mama Gina. She, she always like quiet. You don't see her so much, but you know. She's, a she's powerful, a yes. Once you know your lane, your place, you can shine there, Joyce. So mm -hmm. these women who get money should always, always make it known to their men that I still know you're the man for my life. I still uphold you up there. Let him feel it. When yeah. you come home, serve him. Don't just delegate all the roles because now you're too senior to serve some of these things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eh, okay. Well, I'm going to be getting to some questions shortly and you guys can be sending them in to double two triple nine. But I want us to sort of dissect this idea of the man as a hunter uh -huh. and just sort of look at the, the different aspects or qualities, virtues about him. Um, it spans different things. One of them could be verbal communication. Mm -hmm. So the hunter is a man whose words are always backed by intent and purpose. Mm -hmm. Right, because we're saying that there's two men. There's just in in even in the in the wild, there's hunters and there's gatherers, right? That's right. Um, so talk to me then about verbal communication, um, even during this process of the hunt. Thank you for bringing that up, because what we are making akisema ati actions speak louder than words. Can you not check Because it's a very common saying. <laughs> People think. No, I just want to see actions. When it comes to love, actions, uh, words come first. And then support them with your deeds. You want both. Yeah. So when a man is hunting, he ought to have words that sound like music, not noise. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's tell <laughs> men, your words can be noise. If they are obvious or ill-timed. Yeah. Let's warn men against declaring love the first day they meet the girl. Yeah, Thank you. Let's tell them. It's annoying. It sounds impatient. Yeah. It sounds and immature. Immature. You're supposed to take your time. Come in as a friend first. Yeah. Like Uzika is too desperate if you're there. Like, you know, don't issue a threat. One day I'll marry you. Even if later you marry her, you still look you are so unstrategic. There are men who the first thing they talk. But they does sound like a threat. Yeah. <laughs> You know, one day I'll marry you, and I'm like, I don't want you to. <laughs> you know, she has to say no to protect her space. You have to give her time to learn you. Yeah. So many times, uh, this searching should be should be a stylist. I mean, you should come in as a friend, and if you don't have a way to be friend, in, in, then befriend her friends so that you become you enter her circle. Mm. Check on Facebook who she follows. Follow that. Find out. Find, then fi find out. Stop. Be patient. I think men are very impatient sometimes. We want quick results. Yeah. And we think another man will pass with her. <laughs> and if somebody else passes with her, you are not the only hunter in the jungle. Right. And she is not the only woman in, the, in, this, in this jungle either. But patience matters. So words matter, but calculate them for the right timing. But another thing we need to tell men, you can influence women by listening to them more than by talking to them. Mm. Get her talking. Let, let your words be those who are inviting her that she's safe to talk. Right. When you listen Especially to her. Especially if you get that emotional connection, like you're pretty much so. And that is coming from, guys, that's a woman saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you better take it seriously. <laughs> that emotional connection. Yeah. You know, men, we are not born with what you girls are born with. The emotional thermometer, that sensor, that antenna. You need to sense where that lady is that day yeah. and what she wishes to talk about. Does she feel safe with you sharing these things? And if she does, she's not ready, especially what uh, I told people to pay attention to what people stop saying in the middle. The sentence mm. they post in the middle. Mm. Don't insist on it. Just make it a footnote in your mind. <laughs> so that's an emotional place. Okay. And I will revisit indirectly. Okay. So, so verbal communication, absolutely important. Very important. Not just actions. In other words, ukwena swag. Valentine, imekuja na umepata tumau umekia wapo kwa nyumba. Naguna kitu umeandua the whole day. <laughs> yeah. It's action, but... Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> you interpret okay. it. Words are important. Well, let's talk about manipulation. Because it is also said that the hunter pursues a woman who interests him without the need for games. He understands that dating is a two-way street. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes there are those people in a relationship, like they just, they give very little of themselves in a relationship. Nika you know, like drops, drops, drops like that over a long period of time. And, um, but that same person then expects a lot in return, which is very manipulative That's right. in a relationship. So he wants 
for him to be everything in the woman's world but you know in his life the woman is just a fragment of it so talk to us then about again in this concept of the hunt how that goes for because i feel like oftentimes we look at um hunters as these bad aggressive guys they are playboys they are what but that's not necessarily true then mm -hmm. the hunting here what you have explained is very important there are people who give you so little about themselves and they want to know everything about you make sure there is reciprocity in how much you are disclosing to each other mm -hmm. and, and 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 if you sense that you are giving out more than you're learning from the other person you are taking a leap into the dark mm. And it's very important to just know, to know not only him, but those around him. He should introduce you for, to friends, maybe. The more the pro relationship progresses, you should, be hear, you should hear about him from someone else mm -hmm. or her. And I told people that if everything you know about the person you are dating is, it's them who have told you all of it, mm -hmm. eh, you are joking. <laughs> you should not go too far with that. Mm -hmm. Because th then they're controlling what you get to know about them. It's important they get to show you a sister or a relative and they let you have conversation. That means they are, they are safe. You get in to know them. Yeah. So, uki sense, ako guarded, ata wewe kuwa guarded. Aki kufinye mfereji, finya yako. <laughs> Aki kuliza, tell me, where did you go after form 4 mujibu na umulize, and you? <laughs> Usigoja ulize, sasa, and after university, alafu after, last week uliniambia, ulikuwa na boyfriend of cancer, alafu wabili, nanja uh, kuambia yeah. zake. Yeah. You return the questions. Okay. Return the questions. Let him hear. You know, akiulizo umulize wea kwanza ujaniambia. Tell me about your story. You know? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, let me read a couple SMSs here. Sorry, I say, hey Joyce, the show is lit. I can't get my eyes off the TV. Please ask Benjamin which is the right age to start dating. Aki, this question, I feel like we get it all the time. Um, and it's important. It it's an important you. question too. And we said, it's not the age, it's maturity and readiness. Yes. Kama ni mwanaume, gojea upate pesa ambayo neza sustain a relationship. Yeah. I'm at least a job. If it's a lady, the enough maturity to handle a big boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, still speaking then about the hunter um, and the man and this the whole hunting process. Yeah, right. There's an interesting question here. Mm -hmm. Someone says, hey Joyce, because you've said now hunting is also social. Right? Yeah, right. On digital. It is. It's online as well. Hey Joyce, would uh, please ask Benjamin, is it okay for my man to entertain other women by posting them? And expect me to be okay with it. I feel like I'm disrespected and I'm planning to walk away. That's an important question. But I don't want you to do it because I don't want you to change who you are because yeah. of the behavior of another person. Mm. But Nikusema, if he is doing things and he is aware you are uncomfortable with him, you have made it clear. Maybe from his world, that's nothing. But from your world, you are uncomfortable with it. Yeah. If he's unwilling to negotiate and arrive at a compromise and stop hurting you deliberately, uh, there's a problem. But honestly, Benjamin, as a guy yourself, in what world does that make sense? Maybe they are 19 and 21. <laughs> Joyce, 19 year olds and 20, 21 year olds, that's normal to them. Unajua, there's a 21-year-old here who's texted saying, Good morning, Mrs. Waihiga. I've been learning a lot of things being in my 21 years of age. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that this is preparing me for my future. I must admit that I really love what you're doing. God bless. In today's topic, I think the dude should run for the queen uh, of my heart and not the other way around. God did give us men the privilege. Oh, this is a guy who's 21 years old. Mm -hmm. God did give us men the privilege to be the head and i won't take it low for anything mm -hmm. okay he is growing well that 21 year old you're on course keep it up my brother uh, okay okay ben up. <laughs> benjamin says you're doing good um I, I do need to take a break though i see your sms is coming in i'm gonna try and get to as many of them as i can when we come back from this break as we continue talking about the man and the hunt and some of the other things i want to ask benjamin you know what is the place of honesty this hunting yeah, how how honest should the guy be about how many animals is he hunting? ni buffet, ama ni alakat. That's what I want to know. <laughs> and then also defensiveness. Um, you know, when 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 a lion, say for example, catches its prey, it's it's supposed to be protective about it, right? And and we wanna we wanna negotiate and, and just talk about, you know, where does that come in? How how should you defend the person in your life? Where should you do it? <laughs> That's coming up next with Benjamin Zulu here on Full Circle with Joyce. Stay tuned.
right, guys, welcome back to the show. This is Full Circle with Joyce. And uh, we're talking about the man and the hunt, right? And um, Benjamin has clarified for us, yes, it is the 21st century. Yes, we are all independent, brave, fierce, bold boss babes. But it is in the nature of a man to be the one that hunts. Mm -hmm. And the lady, it is in her nature to want to receive that affection. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, what do you say when, when ladies are the ones proposing to gentlemen? Is that something you encourage? Do you get shocked about it? What would you have done if your wife proposed to oh, you? Oh my God, I've been shocked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you imagine the lion actually like the antelope? <laughs> the lion who thinks this is a trap. Yeah. It's confusing. We don't know how to respond to that. It is. It, it, it's because if you propose then, you are taking initiative. Who yeah. will be the leader in this relationship? Yeah. Who will take... When you realize there's a guy, both of you have built a relationship to a boil. You're ready for it. And he's not taking the step. Mm. You should not go buy the ring and do it. <laughs> If you would propose to a guy, double two, triple nine, let me know. Would you ever, would you not? Benjamin here says he would not. So you should be very uncomfortable you if that happened to you. Indirectly invite him to do it. Problem to it while yeah. you stay on the receiving end. Yeah, maybe Nijikuta. To help him maintain the masculine illusion yeah. of being in control, ahead, in charge. Otherwise, you remove that man thing you loved in him yeah. by taking charge and leading. So it's something that actually counts for the future of your relationship, yes. not just for the sake of getting married, but it's, because it's going to affect the balance of your relationship. If you say it's leadership and then later you're asking me, where is this relationship headed? But I thought you are ahead. <laughs> yeah. To, don't seize leadership. There's a question you had asked before you went, before we went on air, about how much honesty, disclosure, yes. that yes. we should, that men should... Let me announce to guys that when you tell the truth, you don't have to remember what you said. That's right. And you don't have to lie to cover up the, the previous lie. Yes, that's the beauty of truth. You don't have to keep a clean record for the lies to, to align. <laughs> and if you have a bad, bad memory like me, <laughs> you're always safe telling the truth. Yeah. Number two is that you engender trust when you open up to your woman. Sometimes you think when you tell her, she'll be afraid. Mm. She, she, she feels trusted. With your, with your truth that is not so presentable. Yeah, yeah. In any case, intimacy is built. Intimacy is not just bedroom or sex. It's about the person you tell when you feel confused. Yeah. When you feel lost. When you're facing a challenge. When you have a, 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 this one new interview and this, you know, this failure, this disappointment. Talk yeah. to your woman about it. Yeah. That's how she feels included, trusted. Mm. So truth for a man is a strategy. Invite your woman inside by telling yeah. her everything. Truth is a strategy. It is a strategy for men. Because okay. men, we always think about it, achievement. We think stumble, achievement, goal, success, getting there. <laughs> so for a man, <laughs> include disclosure and honesty in your strategy to win your woman. Okay. And we need to tell men that after you find the girl now, you have to get to know her. Finding is the first step. Mm. Get to know her and allow her to know you. After yeah, we see look at stages. Don't say just because you found like all of a sudden now you can jump to get to know the person. Yes, it's it's a very respectful thing to the woman too because then she doesn't feel objectified. That's because true. the problem with a lot of guys out here is like they're literally they they hunt, but it's like they've been starved for the last fifteen oh. years. <laughs> so like you see a, a babe or a woman and you're just ready to just you know, you know leech on her. That's not how it works. I, and I'm happy you can end up putting her off. And I'm happy you bring that up because we should tell men to make sure that they have self-control and they don't show that they, they can be overwhelmed by yeah. needs. Yeah. A woman wants to know that she's with a man who, who, who can control himself. I yeah. appreciate the needs I need to meet in your life. But please, would you be patient while I'm cooking? Yeah. <laughs> you know, while I'm preparing it for you. <laughs> you don't <laughs> grab it from the jiko. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> maturity. The difference between baba and mtoto wake ni kwamba mtoto analia mpaka apewe chapati kabla mboga hivi. Lakini baba ingawa bado kona njaa anaweza ngoja hata kusaidia mama ndio mpaka chakula kiive. That that patience is important as a man. So there's a difference then between aggressiveness and assertiveness. I, I think as ladies maybe it's okay for a man to be assertive because that shows leadership but that's different from being aggressive in Thank this you. negative sense. To be sense. determined and patient than being aggressive and impatient. Yeah. You want a man who is focused, he knows you're the one he wants, but he's also giving you time mm. to come up, to buy the idea, to embrace the idea. Mm -hmm. You can tell he's persistent because he doesn't give up. Days go and he still checks. Yeah. He's respectful, but he's persistent. Hey. That's what you want. 
Okay. Well, I want us to also talk about defensiveness because there's a question here says, um, every man, like, you know, when you find your woman, like, she's she's part of your pride, right? And you yeah. want to protect her, you want to cover her. That's it. Right? She's not a trophy, but you, you're proud of her. Okay. Um, so there's someone here who's saying, hey, Joyce, what of a guy who's so overprotective? Is it healthy in a relationship? And you can't go anywhere without his concern. That would affect your trust. Unaitaji kuwa trusted by your man. Can you discuss with him? And just you need to, like, like we mentioned last time, eh? just because a problem arises in a relationship does not mean you think of quitting. Mm -hmm. Please always remember, we don't sell cars because they got punches. We don't <laughs> throw them away because mm -hmm. imezima ko barabara. Yes. We fix the problem. We don't we don't discard the car. Relationships are like that. Ukiona jama wako wako overprotect, probably he's just, he loves you that much and he's expressing it in the wrong way. You just need to tell him, I know this comes from a place of love. I yeah. know it's because you love me. But let me tell you, you can trust me. I will protect your interests. I will not like betray or anything, you know. Mm -hmm. Give me room to operate. Mm -hmm. I'll feel more loved when I'm also given room to operate, you know, mm. space to do things. So discuss that and tell him what he, how he can achieve the same loving attention he wants to give you yeah. while not suffocating you. Remind guys that women can tire of the attention if you suffocate them with it That's everywhere. True. They can get tired of it so mm. that it loses meaning. Yeah. Chapati ni tamu na kuku, but you eat the whole day, the other day, the other day, you, <laughs> you'll vomit. Attention yako ni tamu, but too much of anything is bad. Yes, sir. Actually, how you maintain balance well after you come together is to always allow those rooms for end a job, na mimi end a job. Mm. We check on each other in the evening. How was your day? We have stories yeah. to share. Give Keep each other space because yes. you're, you're both individuals. Love is not tightly embracing each other like this. It's a dance. There's room and there's music going mm -hmm. on. We are dancing together in a rhythm. Mm -hmm. We are not like grabbing each other and not allowing room. And again, love is not gazing into each other's eye. It's looking together in the same direction. Right. It's life we are doing together. We are matching together. So the idea of holding and grabbing and Clinging, if you look too possessive and needy, you'll you'll actually dump down the respect this woman had for you. She true. wants to feel trusted anyway. True, true. Yeah? true. Well, someone here says, and, and I, I want to ask this in the context of, so we've said, you know, for ladies, it is not in our nature to be the ones to propose. Yes. What about when it comes to saying, I love you? Like, who should say it first when you're in a relationship? Because someone here says, hey, Joyce and Benjamin, I have this guy. We were okay and talking normally. He kept saying he loved me. And at first, I told him I wasn't ready, but he was patient enough until I fell in love with him. When I first told him I loved him, he was happy and said that it was his best night. Then the next day we were to meet, but he didn't come. And since that day, he's never picked my calls or texted back. The far we had gone was just an ordinary hug. But as for his feelings, he had won my trust. What could be the reason why he fled, not even texting back or returning calls? Number one, our writer here, don't blame yourself for his fleeing. There are people who are in love with the idea of love, mm. but they're not prepared for the reality of love. Mm -hmm. They pursue you for purpose of conquering your resistance but they don't know how to stay with you in the love relationship. Yeah. That's a man who is afraid of the vulnerability that love brings. Mm -hmm. To be in love, Jesus, you have to open yourself up. Yeah. You have to be vulnerable. You have to risk heartbreak. You have to risk being heartbroken. So that's just a guy who was not ready. Please okay. don't feel sorry for it. Don't blame yourself. Don't feel guilty. It's the love is within you. You will still be able to love another person. Right. All right. Someone here says, um, hey, Joyce and Benjamin, there's this guy that pursued my friend, but my friend was not into him. Okay, then the guy is so nagging to me that Ananitaka saying, Ati alikuwa Ananitaka kwanza, <laughs> alikuwa Ananitaka kwanza, only that nilikuwa kwa relationship ingine, please help. The word nagging means she's, she's not She's into irritated it. by Yes. <laughs> so what I, I can encourage, this, this, this person is this, examine whether, this, examine whether this is a guy you would like. Ondoa your friend from the picture and examine him independently. But the fact that he moved from your friend to you also tells yeah, you... Yeah, and you can't come now and tell me at you, oh, I was into you first. He, he That's could be rude. mature, undecided, or unstable, or unreliable. Yeah. All those. But again, examine this guy. He could be confused, but a good guy. There are good guys mm -hmm. who are confused, Joyce. Next. <laughs> <laughs> no. You can, I mean, how would that make the relationship with the friend? Is, isn't that awkward? It is awkward. Like, Mimi ni kuja, Mimi sasa ndiyo bakshish. <laughs> Jume ngine aku, like, wasn't ready for you, so now I'm the, ba like, I'm your second and best option. And let alone to men, you see how women are offended by this idea. I find and it offensive. Ulikataliwa na rafiki yangu, diyo manu mekuja kwangu. Diyo mekuja kwangu. Alafu na niambia ti, you're the one I wanted. 
<laughs> Bye. Next. <laughs> no, I don't agree. I don't agree. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, because like you're saying, every woman wants to feel treasured. They want to feel cherished. Like they want to feel like they were the number one. I don't want to be anybody's second best option. That's right. Anyway. That's true. And you're very right. Um, someone here says, and I love this question because I feel like this hunting should not just stop when you get the woman oh, yes. or when you've now, since you've been declared man and wife Preach now, it to my sister. Sasa at in at your fact, stop. that's where the dating should now go Start on the next now. level, right? Because someone is saying, Hey Joyce, I'm watching from K West. And my question is what happens when a man gets into a relationship and gets so comfortable that he doesn't pursue anymore? Oh, and that's a bad situation, Joyce. Let's announce this to men. Uh, wooing and pursuing a woman was a promise of what you are inviting her to. You will give her that loving attention. Yeah. Give me a chance to love you, to cherish you. You know, you are not inviting her to bring her home and neglect her. Mm. So it's called sell by sample in law. You are telling me this is what you are inviting me for. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, ladies, uh, guys, that after you get your woman, there's some, there's a department in your mind that is now supposed to click. This is a woman I'm now to pursue, to cherish, to build a relationship with her, to get to know her. After falling in love, now we have to grow in love. Let's now grow to level two, level mm -hmm. three. Let's know each other deeper. Let me know her soul. So yeah. far, I've interacted with her body. Let me know her heart. Is she magnanimous? Is she patient? What are her dreams? How can I facilitate those dreams? How can I make this woman larger than I found her? How can I push her head? Those yeah. are the things that you're supposed to get into. Mm -hmm. And if as a man, you think you just brought her home and it was all about maybe sex or, or something like that. Mm. That is too shallow and you don't deserve this kind of a woman. So another thing is, if your man is teachable and he, he just lacks the knowledge, mm. you can help, you can wake him up to this reality that we are supposed not to walk together, mm. grow together, spend time together, talk together. You know, we used to talk like three times that, that when you are a day, but now it's supposed to be even five times or so as, as soon as we can, because now there's not that. We're supposed to look for excuses to talk, for excuses yeah. to meet. Yeah. Now we have a lot to talk about. We have things we're working together. We have jokes. We have, we have, you are now in my life. I'm in your own. Lakini kuna ingine inapungua. Unapata it used to be three times like a penkila. Sahi it is only when, when you can't avoid like a calf. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely, mm. Benjamin. I totally agree with you. Mm. And I, I think many people here on our SMS line do as well. Mm. In fact, um, there's a lot of questions about how this hunting should be conducted. So I'm going to try and... Uh, you know, merge some questions together in the interest of time here. Someone says, hey Joyce, nice conversation. Ask Benjamin, is it okay for a man to have love chats and calls with girls? When you ask him, his excuses are that he chats with them when he's annoyed with me. It happens repeatedly. That is not love. It is not, Joyce. That that's is not disrespect. Love. That's violation of the... Uh, Absolutely. That's violation, you know? Yeah. What you're having between the two of you, Joyce, should, so, should be so special that mm -hmm. nobody else should come in be, at Yambiwe the same words. Yeah. At Yambiwe, a bit of romantic attention. Because you're upset with the... No. It's what you're saying. Like, if the car has a puncture, you don't throw away the That's car, it. you fix you it. You fix the puncture. And remember, let's remind men that all women have something in common. Now, who you work or hapa is the one meant for you. Ukitorokea wale utapata, they have the same problems. You are escaping here. That's true. They are just human, all of them. That's true. There's no other woman better than your own. Yeah. Yeah. Someone else here says, um, hey, sasa uyu ata, uya ezi a hunter. Because someone is saying, what of a guy who only calls or texts when they need something from you? And then afterwards, ananyamaza kabisa, but claims that he loves you. Uh -uh. He's, he's using the word love to keep mm. you open for him to use you. Yeah. Read the actions. Tafadali. People need to date with their eyes open. Yes. And with your brain. Thank you. Common sense, too. <laughs> Just that you don't hurt yourself. Follow your heart, but carry your brain with you. <laughs> I like that. You know, and you know the most... <laughs> The more, the more we fall in love, the more our hearts open and their eyes open. Yeah. Eyes closed. You must open your eyes to see what is not working. Yeah. Yeah. Someone here is, uh, it's actually a lady asking. Um, I'm Hilda. Ask Benjamin, how many ladies should he hunt to get the right one? How are age 21 who hunt at our key date? When, when someone is hunting you, you can actually tell their age for mm -hmm. sure. Thank you. Um, but interesting question. Um, and it makes me go back to our previous conversations as at what point does the hunting take place? Is it from the get-go? Yani, or is it when this guy has decided that this is the one he wants, that now you sort of, he, he needs to amp up his game? Oh. Or else is it, like everyone is, on the, everyone is being hunted. Every lady that he sees, 
you know, how many men, I mean, how many women should a man be hunting? Remember, there's a time I, I told you that as a, a hunter counts the hits, not the misses. Mm. When I'm looking, I'll look until I find. I don't okay. count how many attempts that were unsuccessful. Yeah. But we are saying after he finds, we expect him to bring all his hunting home now mm -hmm. to build this one woman. Mm -hmm. The idea is not to hit on a, th a thousand women. It's about to love one woman in a thousand ways. So you search until you find as a man. Mm -hmm. But after mm -hmm. you find, bring now your energy, your effort to this one woman. Wow. Okay. Alice from Naivasha says, I think I would propose. Okay. <laughs> Benjamin, what look is that? I'm imagining the, which man? <laughs> okay. And it's a question to actually, I like what you said because we often look at it as the lady who... I'm um, like, like, why would you propose? But Pia, kuna wanaume pia wana accept waki proposiwa. So, what and be kind careful, of man you'll be that? the husband there. <laughs> Sonia says, hey Joyce, I'm married with one kid. My hubby is there with us physically and thinks that that is enough. Since I gave birth more than a year ago, he has given me, this is unbelievable, 300 bob for the kids' clothes. I'm just a housewife, but if he sees the child with new clothes or sees me with a new hairstyle, he doesn't care where I got the money from. Does that mean that I'm not the only antelope in the jungle for him? You could be dealing with a person who is not committed. Yeah. Clearly, his actions show he's not, show he's not into you. Joyce, you need to tell women that there's no love without giving. Men show love by giving. Mm. If he's not giving you, he can't say he loves you. Okay. And he should not lock you in a house somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Benjamin, unfortunately, our time is up, but I want to wrap it up with this one quote, uh, one message here. Hello, Full Circle Joyce. <laughs> Men are carnivores. Few are lions. These are the most bold who mark their boundaries. Raw if it's necessary and not like a doze. Um, and that's all thanks to the Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kutai Jr. from Athi River. Asante Sana for that. Benjamin, how can people reach you? Oh, my social media platforms, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram is Benjamin Zulu KE. Benjamin Zulu KE. Email is Benjamin Zulu KE at Gmail. Mm -hmm. Benjamin Zulu KE at Gmail. Thank you so much. All right, Benjamin. Thank you as always for coming. Interesting conversation here. Hopefully, people have at least understood a bit more about man, you know, the hunt, who is the lion, who is the antelope. And more so to play your role because That's it's going to affect your relationship in future. So independent or not, like there's just a way that God wired our bodies. So Asante Sana, as always, for your company. Guys, that's it from us today. Thank you so much. Let's do this again tomorrow from 8 to 10 a.m. Until then, God bless you and have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Ciao.